Hey everyone, it's Christy from The Stamp Cycle here. I have a really fun and festive project to share with you today. Christmas is coming up pretty quick here, so the project I have is Christmassy. I learned how to make this project at convention last week and I could not wait to get home and try it for myself. So, one of the goals that I set at convention was to start making videos for my blog. So this is my first video. Um, fingers crossed that it goes well. Um, if I make a mistake, we'll just keep on rolling. I'm sure you can hear my dog barking in the background. <laughs> so we're just gonna ignore that and get started. So the project we'll be making today is this 3D Christmas star. Um, we're calling it a Christmas star I guess because it, it really does remind you of Christmas, but you could probably use it on um, non-Christmassy projects. But so I'm, you know, I, I, I hesitate to call it a Christmas star and I've been calling it more of a 3D star. So I did use some retired DSP and retired paper for the prototype just to kind of show you what it looked like today. Um, so, all right, let's get started. So for our project today, we are going to be using, ta-da, this brand new uh, sneak peek DSP that will be coming out in the upcoming holiday catalog. Um, the holiday catalog will be available to you on September 1st, but for those of us that are demonstrators, this is one of the really great things about being a demonstrator is um, we get to not only see the catalog before anyone else, but we also get to place pre-orders. So I will be placing my order here in the next um, week and a half, but we received this, this free paper at convention. I'll show you the back really fast. This whole pack of papers is very vintage. It has a very vintage feel and they're really just very nice. Um, I can't wait to do more projects with this paper. Okay, so to make the star you will need two pieces of 6x6 DSP. I haven't made this star with cardstock yet um, so I'm not sure how it would turn out with cardstock. Um, I've just been trying it with DSP, but you can give it a try with cardstock and see how it turns out. So we're going to do exactly the same thing to both of these pieces of paper. So <clears throat> you'll decide which, which side you want to be facing out and we're going to face the stars out and you will start folding. This is a very easy project. So the first thing you do is fold it across longwise, get your bone folder, burnish those fold lines, then do the same going the other way. I try to get it as even as possible. Then the next is you want to fold in both corners on each side. And it's okay if you don't get them exact um, just get it as close to, close as lined up as you can. All right, so do this on the other side. Okay, so then you will have, I'm not sure if you can see the lines, but you'll have all these folds here. So the next step is to take your ruler and a pencil and on each of the long sides and the score line in the middle, not sure if you can see that, but you're going to want to measure up one and one fourth inch. So a good way to do that is to place your ruler along that score line, bend the paper up, line it up with the one and one fourth, and by picking the paper up, it helps you really be able to line that score line up if you can't see it that well. And then you just place a dot right at the top. And then you're going to do this on the other three sides. Again, in the middle, pull the paper up, go to the one and one fourth line, make a dot. Okay, last side here. That, of course, is right on the blue. Okay, so once you have all of those marked, you're going to take your scissors 
and you're going to cut up along that score line right to that dot. You do that on all four sides. I've got my paper snips here. They work fine for this. Make sure you can see this. All right. Okay. Now after you have cut all four sides, the next step is you're going to work um, on each corner. You're going to fold each corner into that score line, both sides. It's a lot, this project's a lot of folding. And you're going to form a triangle like that. And you'll do it on all four sides. Well, you can get it to work here. Okay. And just keep going around. Do all four sides. You can probably already start to see uh, the star forming here. Okay. So once you have all four sides, you can kind of see how it's beginning to take shape. The next thing you're going to want to do is get your, get your glue. I use Tombow. Um, I think it gives, it gives you a little bit of wiggle room to play around with the pieces, um, but also gives you a nice secure, uh, secure adhesive here. So you'll take your, your glue and you'll go around one of the triangles and then you'll glue the other side right on top like that. And you just kind of hold it down for a couple seconds, let that glue start to dry, and you'll see that's the point of your star. So then you do that on the rest of the sides here. Make sure you kind of move it around. That's why I use Tombow, because you can kind of get it get it positioned just right before you squeeze it and hold it down. Okay. One last side. We go. Now, you could just use the star just like this um, if you wanted to have the. Um, oh, sorry, someone's calling me on my phone there. Um, you could put it on a present like that, um, but for what we're making is the 3D star, so we need to make one more. So I'm going to do this fairly quickly. Um, I'm not going to give you a lot of instructions, but it might be helpful for you to just watch me do it again. So if you're going to try this yourself, um, it might be helpful just to see me do it one more time. I'm going to do this as quickly as possible. It is a lot of folding. And you see, I'm, I'm not even using my bone folder to burnish the burnish the fold so I mean that's really not a necessary step if you wanted to skip that step um, the bone folder just does just give you crisper folds um, but it's certainly not not necessary so again you're going to want to measure up on each of the middles to one and one one and one fourth inch Trying to hurry, and now I'm getting dropping my pencil. And okay. all right, one last side. Okay, next step is to cut up all these sides. Now, when I was making my prototype, I noticed that I did not cut. Um, I must not have marked right at the one and one fourth, and folding the corner 
like this was not coming together so I had to come back in and cut a little bit. That's okay if that happens to you, it still worked out. Okay, so then again, fold in all of your corners. corner here. Okay, then glue them all together. That one I did not get folded very good there, but you can kind of manipulate it. This second star. Okay. Last corner here. Okay. Now, you could add a ribbon like I did for this one. And um, what you'll want to do is um, you can take them and position them how you, you're going to want to put them together. And then you could come in and add a glue dot right here with the ribbon. Um, I think you're going to need a more solid surface, so that's a good place to add a ribbon. Um, if you don't want to add a ribbon, you can just take and add Tombow right here along this piece of the star. And then put, place them together. And you have to wiggle them a little bit to get good positioning here. Um, once you they kind of fit just kind of you know hold it together let that glue dry and then voila well you have a really cool christmas star um what might be a really neat idea if you have the patience and the time <laughs> would be to make a bunch of these and you could um make a wreath for your door. Um, these would be great to make a bunch and put on a Christmas tree. You could add them as a tag um, on a present. You could also make a bunch and put them in a bowl um, at the center of your table. A um, lot, lot of different ideas that you can, you can do with these. I also wanted to show you that you can make smaller ones. So I have a piece of 4x4 four four DSP, same DSP. Um, I've went ahead and did all the folding. And the only difference that you do with a 4x4 four four is the measuring. And I already measured, but I wanted to show you. You'll come up to just the one inch mark to make your dots. So you'll go up one inch, you'll do all the cutting, round all four sides here. Okay, and the four inch, we'll see how that looks. Slightly smaller, you could make um, some using four by four, some using six by six. Um, you could even try eight by eight. Um, if you went up to eight by eight, just by guessing measurement wise, you might need to measure up to the one and a half inch mark. Um, you might have to play with that a little bit, but um, the 4x4 four four was was one inch. Alright, let's put this together really fast so you can see the size difference. Ooh, I think this 4x4 four four one's going to be super cute. I could just see a Christmas tree with all different sizes of these on there, that would be really pretty. Okay, almost done here. One last corner to glue down. All right. And 
that is the four by four. Oh, how cute is that? Look at that. So, so, so cute. I love it. All right. Well, thanks for joining me today. Um, if you like the video, be sure to like it down below. Um, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Head on over and check out my blog at www.thestampcycle.com to look at some other projects that I've made. My plan is to do one video a week. <laughs> um, we'll see how that goes, maybe more. Um, I already have the project made for the next video, which is gonna be a very cute um, little gable box for a mini lotion from Bath & Body Works. So be sure to check back into my channel to watch that video, and thanks for joining me today.